And here we have it! No. To be honest, it was coming. This team is going to take a lot of beating. The Classic of the game, let's go. Genuinely, club football is back. Yorkshire takes on Hampshire, Tigers take on the Saints, as two teams battling for the playoffs take each other on a quarter way through the season. The day will be loud, scrappy, and certainly a difficult fixture for both. But can the home team get rid of them continuous 1-1 draws at home? and turn them into three points. Yes, today is massive, as Hull City take on Southampton in the 12th round of the most exciting and most competitive league in the world, the EFL Championship. Now, today will certainly be a difficult game. We're taking on Southampton, a team, when you look at it, is a Premier League squad on paper. Two possession-based sides and both teams needing a win if they want to push up to that playoffs. And the problem is our home form isn't bad because we haven't lost all season, but we've only won once. It's just all draws. Many, many draws. The last competitive fixture was such an exciting game. Nil-nil. There's no more to add. Today, we're at the MKM Stadium for the first time in about three weeks, and I'm really looking forward to it. It'll be a very difficult game, but a game that I'm really looking forward to. That is, if it's not called off, because Rotherham was called off last night. A few games have been called off, so I am just hoping that it will be played. I mean, if it's 3-0 to Southampton, at least we get to see 90 minutes of football. Let's stay positive. I'll see you when we get down to the MKM Stadium, and up them Tigers. Right then. This is for the camera, I must admit. Let's get off. Lovely, sunny day. Oh dear. Right, let's go. Oh, blow me neck. I've done this twice in a row now. That's better. Absolutely buzzing for this one. Two hours till kick off, 45 minutes till we get there. An hour and 15 to get some scrans, score predictions, and onto the game. Some cracking weather. Beautiful. Mother, we're in traffic. Not I think anymore, this is... we aren't. Oh, blow me <laughs> Well, <laughs> what's your score prediction? 1 1. 1 1. Who's getting the goal? Um, Connolly. I'm Connolly. Connolly. Fantastic. Grandma, what's your score predictions? Score predictions? Yeah. 2-1 uh, Southampton, I would say. Oh, blooming it. You're never optimistic, are you, Grandma? No. <laughs> How many football stadiums do you see with a zoo nearby? If I want to pet a wallaby 90 minutes before kick-off, I can do so. Squirrel. And here we are, the MKM Stadium. I'm absolutely buzzing to be back. Right, let's just hope we can get the three points. I think that's the main thing. And a bit of nice weather, because I am freezing. Ever been through this turnstile? Why don't we give it a whirl? I hope there's more room this way. Come on, Mum. <laughs> there she comes. Right. You ready? Up the big stairs, get the steps in. Calories down. Hey mate, you alright? Look at this! I mean the weather's not great but the stadium looks beautiful. Well hello, we're at the MKM Stadium now. It is very wet and as I said in previous vlogs, I'm going to try and keep this a little bit shorter than what I usually do. I usually do two or three minutes of waffling about the game. But I've done that in the intro already. The lineup today is very, very strong. Jaden Villagin is there and that's all we need to know because him single-handedly could win us this game. He has been quality on international duty with England. Genuinely so excited to see him play for the Black and Amber team. Here's your lineup to take on Southampton. In goal, Ryan Alsop. Today's right back, Cyrus Christie. Left back, Jason Lakilo. The two centre backs are Alfie Jones and Jacob Greaves. In midfield, Tyler Morton and Jean-Michel Serry. Attack in midfield, Scott Twine. And up front, Liam Delap. Jaden Philogene and Jason Lakilo. Well, we're joined here with Ollie. First of all, mate, how's your chips? They look very, very nice. Fantastic. Now, we play Southampton today in a very, very difficult game, but are you optimistic? Yes, I am. Fantastic. What's your score predictions? 2 1 Hull. Fantastic. Who's getting the goals? Delap, Oscar. No, Delap, Superman. And then for them, Ryan Manning. Fair enough. Not often I do a segment about the food, but you just have to admire chicken and chips at Hull City, arguably the best food in any championship club, 10 out of 10. Now we're joined with Leo, and Leo would like to hold the microphone today, so this looks very awkward, but how are you mate? You know what, doing very well, weather's not looking good though, so hopefully a good show. 
Yeah, uh, well, I mean, slipping and sliding is always a fun game to watch. What's your score predictions? A tough test. Well, hmm, I've not really thought about this. I'm going to go 1 1. Yeah. Drop the goal scorers as well. I do, I do, if possible. Well, today, I think we're going to see it's a lap goal at yeah. Hull. Yeah, and then for Southampton? It's only one man. I think I'm going to have to pick a doze. Yeah, he's quality. Now I'm going to do my score prediction as well. Would you like me to hold the microphone? No, no, I'll, I'll hold it. <laughs> All right, fair yeah. enough, mate. I'm going to go 1-1 as well because we draw every game at home 1-1. I'm going to go Ozan on his return from injury and for them, William Smallbone. Now we're joined with a very, very special guest. Over the last couple of months, I've been doing a bit some bobs with Tiger's newsroom and here is the owner. Sam, how are you, mate? I'm good, mate. How are you? I am very, very good, thank you. Now it's your first game in the West Stand for a while now. How are you feeling it? Do you like the view? Nice view, yeah. Nice view. Fantastic. On to the game itself. Very difficult. Take on a very good Southampton team. What's your score predictions? Uh, I'm going to say one all. Fantastic. Who's getting the goals? Uh, I'm going to say and uh, Will Smallbone. Fantastic. Right. This guy, what a legend. We're joined with... Freddie, you Robbie, you Albie, you Billy. Now, lads, what's your score predictions? 2-1 to all City. 2-1 to all City. 1-1. Three, two, three, oh, sorry. three, one, two, six. Now we're also joined here with Lucas, yeah. the main man. How are you, mate? Uh, I'm great. I'm really looking forward to the game. It's good to be back. Fantastic. Now this is very daunting because we're with the pitch, so the crowd's facing us. Yeah. So I look like a bit of a tad. <laughs> What's your score predictions, mate? Um, I think we are going to win today. I do. I think it's going to be a boring game, but I think we're going to win one 0 And that man, Philogene, is going to score. Fantastic, we'll see you at kickoff. Up them Tigers. You know, fair play to them Southampton fans. 20 minutes till kickoff, nearly a full away end. Six, seven hour drive, that is some commitment. Right, this time on to kickoff. Fast class. Their manager going to clap the fans before the game. Russell Martin, what a legend. And here we have it. All City take on Southampton in the 12th round of the championship. Look at that for two teams. Shea, Shea Adams on the bench. Adam Armstrong, plumbing neck. Some of the players on that Southampton team. Carl Walker Peters in the championship. This is just crazy. Wow! And it was Southampton's Will Smallone to take kickoff. But I missed it because I wanted to have a look at the sing song. Oh, blooming eh? Go on, Jaden. Go on, Jaden. Oh! Take a look at this Southampton team. Not only have they got such a great Premier League squad, but they got three players in the squad that we were all heavily linked to in the summer. We've got Ryan Manning at left back, Will Smallone in centre mid, and then Ryan Fraser on the bench. I mean, I'll be honest, realistically, we would have gotten on even if we went and put in a bid, because they are very good quality, high in Championship, low in Premier League quality. They are really, really good. <laughs> Just look at that. Bazunu, Manning, Walker, Peters, Smallbone, Armstrong, Adam Armstrong. And then Howard Bellis in the championship. That's just crazy to me. I know I've said it like four times, but you know, little things like that really do blow my mind. Oh, blooming heck. Go on, Jaden. Go on, go on, Liam. No, no. 15 minutes in and a very open game. Two really high competitive sides. Southampton are one of those teams where they can go and lose 4-0. You've seen that against Sunderland, but they can also throw everything at it, and they are today, and there is a good chance they are going to try and get many, many goals. Now, for us, we're defending very well. We're going for it. We've had so many opportunities, and with Philly Jean and Liam Delap up front, you know, they were tearing Serbian defenders apart. Now they're tearing Southampton apart. And I'm really looking forward to seeing them for the rest of the season. I know we're not fully sold out, but another thing to know is there is at least 21, 22,000 here. It looks near enough packed out. Genuinely incredible. And the fact that that West Stand Up is open as well, and that's nearly sold out, just shows how much progress we're making as a club. No. Oh, 
to be honest, it was coming. This team is going to take a lot of beating. They've been going and they've had plenty of opportunities. And that work play between Kyle Watt Peters and Will Smallbone has been deadly throughout the first 20 minutes and they've taken advantage of that. Will Smallbone's an incredible midfielder. We saw that when he was playing with Stoke last season and that was a very well and calm, accurate finish. I'm trying to stay positive, I'm actually really gutted. Well, we get an equaliser, it's a 1-1 draw. Then my prediction's right, but I, I love to see the players with their heads up. It's exactly what we're seeing. Everyone's clapping, cheering them on, and hopefully we can see a higher tempo going into the next 70 minutes. Oh, no! Right, we're all right, we're okay. Whew. Tell you what, Southampton fans are class. Genuine are packing out that away end. Six and a half hour drive. Something special. Go on! Yes! Come on! Get in! Come on! I had a clue who that was. I think it was the lap. Come on! And I absolutely love that from Liam the senior. He goes and high fives every single person on the bench. That's something you absolutely love to see. Right, it was Liam Dallap, very well link up play. I was saying to Phil sat next to me, having Tyler Morton and Seri in your centre midfield is some of the greatest partnerships you'll ever see in the championship. I have no idea what that geezer there's doing, pulling faces. I hope he's enjoying himself. Oh, I'm buzzing, genuinely buzzing. I need weather to sort itself out. Oh. Go on. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, no. Well in Ryan. I have an awful smell of a pyro, but I haven't seen one go. Unless it's one in West Ham, which I highly doubt. The only thing you hear in the West Ham is booing. Well in Jaden. Jaden Philogy. Whilst I've got a minute, all our thoughts are with Brian Horton, who's just been diagnosed with cancer, the former Hull City manager and former assistant manager. All our best wishes with him. To Jaden, to Jaden! Go on, Jaden. Go on, Jaden, please. Please. Oh, he's quality. Ooh. It's genuinely mad to think that on the pitch there's only two players in Alfie Jones and Jacob Graves that were here two seasons ago. And that was only a year and three months ago. It's genuinely mad. We've made nine transfers and they're all starting. Well, we've made more than that, but nine transfers that are starting. Red. Red. Red, yellow, yellow. If you just take a look at the stats, it's very, very equal. Both teams having quite a lot of shots, a lot of opportunities, and possession is 55 to 45 to Hull City, but it doesn't feel like that. It's been such a great game, and to be honest, the atmosphere hasn't been that good because everyone's concentrating on the match because it's been just so good to watch. Whoa, man, heck. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, no. Someone needs to be marking Kyle Walker Peters there. Genuinely. Another thing to note is Southampton are the complete opposite of us. We've got nine new transfers on the pitch. For me, they've only got, I think they've got, that midfielder that's new from West Ham, I think his name's Downs, Ryan Manning. And I think that's about it. Taylor Harwood Bellis as well. They've got three new transfers on the pitch, whereas our team is completely different to what it was last year. Oh, you can't give that as a booking ref. Come on. 45th minute, two minutes have been added on. And to be honest, I'm very proud of this performance. We're controlling it at times, and we do not look like the underdog teams, whereas if it was two years ago, we'd have thought we'd get batted six or seven nil. It's just so much improvement, and I'm just trying to keep so positive, just because it's great to see. You know, we win today, we're up in them playoffs again. And that is just something you'd dream of a few years ago. No, 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 oh, well in! No one at Carl Walker Peters again. One of these times he is going to get us on the backside. That's very well played by Jason Lakeela. And there we go, half time, 1-1. One, one. A lot of improvements from a couple of weeks ago at Whipswich. I'll see you all in a minute. Half time, I'll be honest, I don't have a lot to say, but it has been a very quality half of Hull City, controlling the possession on quite a numerous amount of times. We've looked deadly going forward. Jaden Pillagine and Liam Delap in the attack is what we love to see. But the one thing I would be careful is Suleiman up front for Southampton. I don't know if I've pronounced that right, but he's ripped Alfie Jones a new one every time they go forward. You know, it is very nerve-wracking seeing Kyle Walker-Peters running around in front of me and his link-up play 
with Will Smallbone is scary as a whole fan because every time they get the ball you think are they going to get an opportunity and if they are they probably are going to score second half I wouldn't necessarily make any sort of thing everyone's been quality today but if I were I'd bring on Ozan Aaron Conley and Greg Doherty Greg just because I love the guy and I hope he gets a brilliant round of applause because it'll be his first appearance for Hull at the MKN this season due to injury Ozan, his influence in the midfield is crazy. He's genuinely our best player for the last two seasons. He's just fantastic. And Aaron Connolly, I just think he's a fantastic finisher. I think you have to bring him on. And I've heard of whispers that he's a very funny guy. Behind the scenes, in the changing room, you'd love to have him at the club. And the Tigers are back out for the second half. And the good news is Sulamana, Southampton's best attacker, has just come off the pitch, I think. I don't, is that him? I, I don't know. I'm going by the names on the back of the shirts, I'll be honest, and I can't see him. I think he has come off. It will be Scott Twine to take kick off of the second half. Up them flying Tigers. He's onside. Go on. Jaden, no. Tyler, no. <laughs> oh, blooming heck. <laughs> oh, dear. Go on, Jaden. Go on, Jaden. Shoot. Ah. We got it. What? We got it. Oh, we got it. Shoot. He has. Come on, fire off. Welling Greaves turning into Zlatan there. Go on, Jaden. Go on. Offside. <laughs> what? I'll tell you something. This ref must have a challenge. Yellow card here, yellow card there. I can have one as well by the sounds of it. I mean, blooming heck. Tyler Morton makes a clear, perfect challenge whilst I think it's Kyle Walker Pito was on the counter attack. And he gets given a yellow. Uh, the whole stadium up on the feet shouting. It was a beautiful challenge. I genuinely can't believe it. No, no. Alfie Jones. Alfie Blooming Jones. Alfie Blooming Jones. <laughs> go on. Go on. Ah, oh, Blooming Heck. <laughs> Get me out going today. Oh, Blooming Heck. Well in. Go on, Tyler. Go on, Tyler. Come on. Let's go. To Jason. To Jason. Go on, go on, you want a one here. Shoot! Ah! Corner? No. Corner? No. Oh, man, man. Oh, he's on to warm it up, he's coming on. Get in. So he's holding his head. But actually, he'll hold his knee in a minute, watch. Ah, uh, it's his knee now. Oh, dear. Jason, you're through, please! No! Why didn't he shoot? Corner, come on! Ball in, ball out. Pressure! Ah, well played, Bazuna. 60th minute, and I must admit, it was very worrying sign. Southampton had all the possession, all the momentum, and were playing fantastically. It just looked like a matter of minutes until they took the lead. The last five minutes have been easing back into this game, playing it round the back, and we're trying to push up the pitch now. And with three substitutions coming on, if Aaron. Connolly, Louis Coyle, and Ozan too, but I think we're going to win. Hang on. I think we're going to get back into this. Ah, ah. I looked like a tart then. I stopped halfway through. We had a very good chance. Should have scored. I don't think he realised he's coming up, Scott. Oh, poor guy. Right then, three substitutions. Ozan comes on. No, two. Two substitutions. Aaron's not coming on. I thought he was. Ozan comes on, Scott Twine comes off, and Cyrus Christie comes off, and uh, Louis Coyle wearing his Batman mask comes on. Looking stylish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's quality, that. When there's a corner over there, City fans pretending that the ball's gone out of the box where the corner should be taken. And Southampton doing it over there. Referee takes a long walk up, sees that the ball hasn't been moved. Oh, it's quality. Right, Sulemana is coming off. He was on the pitch at half time. I'm genuinely, I, I'm losing it. He was quality though, and so was that Carlos Alcaraz. So for them to come off is brilliant. But for who they've been replaced by, is not. Oh, what a ball that is. So Got in news, Jason Lakilo can't carry on. He's looked to the bench, I think he's pulled his calf, signaling to come off. He has been our best player on the pitch today, genuinely has been. He's been quality, put a right shift in. Let's hope it's just a precaution and he's not injured for months. 
I love that, still with an injury, he's marching on. It's what you love to see. <laughs> the ref's not falling for it anymore. Plumbing, eh? And it will be Aaron Connolly to replace Jason Lakilo. He's put a right shift in today. I hope it's not too serious. Genuinely one of our best players, if not our best player on the pitch today. Southampton's still got Joe Arebo on the bench. He was playing in a Europa League final two years ago. What's going on? Go on, Liam. Oh. 80th minute, we're faffing around with it at the back. Southampton are looking deadly, and one of these times, they are going to take these opportunities. There is another substitution for City. Liam Delac comes off, Ali Simonesh comes on. We needed a little bit more space around that right-hand side, and Ali has got that pace, he's got that skill. He's got that technical ability to get assists and goals. Now, we are probably going to draw 1-1 here. Which will be, what, our fourth or fifth 1-1 draw this season? I think we won against Chef Wednesday and then a 0-0 draw at Leeds. We need to sort ourselves out. Because games like these and other games are crucial we get three points. Because if we drop points, we've dropped, what, eight points now at home where we could have got three in each one of them. That would have put us near the top of the table, if not the top of the table. Go on, Aaron, that is fantastic. No one up with him though, is there? There's no one up with him. There is, there is Alia! Ozan! Oh! Geez. No! Is that a corner? No. He's quality. Genuinely. No one up with him. Oh dear. <laughs> No, not like this. Please, not like this. What a save. We've had four or five very good opportunities to get a win here and get a goal. And it's gutting, really. It really is. The ball's just been stuck between the last bit of our half and the last bit of theirs. Nothing's been going on. Just yeah, passing no. it round the middle, switching it a few times, turn round, pass it back. Just a little bit of monopoly, playing it around. 21 and a half thousand. That is fantastic support. Mind you, it is a full away end as well. So that adds to the numbers. No! Get in! Whew. That was a pain. <laughs> I got scared. Mother, what do you think? Oh, they've missed a lot of opportunities. They should be leaving by now. Happy as it is for a one-man draw. Yeah. It's her score prediction. It's my score prediction. It's everyone's score prediction. We might as well just get the rest of them 1-1 one, one draws at home. 90th minute, five minutes of added time. That gave me a bit of energy and a bit of motivation. A motivation? What am I going to do when I pitch and score? It gives me a lot of optimism is the word. Right, let's give it everything. Look, usually at this point, and even from the 85th minute, you know, hundreds, even thousands of people splurring out to get to the car, but so many people are staying to watch this because it's been such an intriguing game. Although the result may be one that we hoped there was a bit more goals in it. But in terms of the performance itself, it's been a good one to watch. Let's just not concede now. No, no, no. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers, Ref. Much appreciated. Minute left. Look, as long as the ball's in this half, we know we haven't lost. Ah. No, no. I don't believe this. I genuinely don't believe this. I'm... This game has been up for the grabbing since 45 minutes. Since we got that equaliser, this game was up for the taking. We had six or seven massive opportunities to get the win here. Last kick of the game, this got. Genuinely. And I feel really bad here because it's not Lima Senior's fault. It's not the player's fault. But there's sometimes these things happen. You have to take them on the chin, all five of mine. But I must admit, these Southampton fans have been incredible. And I suppose they deserve that. 
but blooming heck, there is thousands of people leaving now. Just contradicting everything I said two minutes ago. People are leaving on Myro, there's empty seats everywhere. This is just gutting, genuinely just gutting. I don't even know what to think. Right, last throw of the dice. Could be a Nottingham Forest where we score right at the end. And they're giving it the other way, now that's it. Just look at that. Leo, explain I, uh, it, keep PG, mate. And you know what, I knew it was gonna happen. But it's not 1-1, one -one, so that, that ruins that, but it's genuinely just got in. There it is, full time. It is what it is. These things happen. We'll see you outside the ground. That is genuinely gutting. Genuinely, I, I don't What's have anything one? to see. Well, well, well. 2 1 defeat. Last kick of the game. That is heartbreaking. Join with Leo. How are you feeling, mate? I want to say upset. We didn't take our chances. They did. And look what happened. They, they won the game. 100%. And to be fair, they deserved it. The fans, I know they're gone now, but they have just been incredible. Full clapping, the full 90 minutes. And they deserved it at the end. I know. We had about six opportunities in the second half to win, but if we don't take them, we don't win, and things like that happen, and that's a championship football for you. Thank you so much for watching. It's been a true pleasure taking you to the beautiful MKM Stadium, and although it was a disappointing game, we have to stay proud. I'm going to leave it to Leo. What are you going to say, mate? Like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Up them, Tigers. <laughs>